Next stop, Sydney. Our new train boss details his plans to fix city rail. Sydney's new rail chief admits he has a lot of work to do to give our city a world-class train system. Riding the rails in London with Seven News, he's promised to make customer service his priority, including refunds. Howard Collins looks like your typical London commuter, but not for long. After fixing the tube, he's heading to Sydney. And he admits making our trains world-class won't be easy or quick. This is a five to ten year strategy and don't expect miracles overnight. You know, I will do my best, but, I, you know, I'm there for the long term. A trip on London's network shows how far Sydney has to come. Electronic ticketing, which can be used across all public transport, no need for timetables with metro trains so frequent, and even free Wi-Fi internet for commuters. All are his distant goals for City Rail. Think about the rail system from a customer point of view, and I think we'll be halfway there and getting it right. He's surprised by a lack of infrastructure, saying the complex network needs to be untangled. It must become more reliable, and trains need to be integrated with buses and ferries. Mr Collins' first priority is simpler. I want to use the service every day. You can experience so much as a customer. Over the past six weeks, the experience for Sydney customers has been frustrating. There have been seven major network failures. So many disruptions the opposition wants. Commuters compensated with a fair free day. But Mr Collins says London passengers are repaid in a different way when they're let down by the system. And he'd like to see the same measure here. So people have had a delayed journey. Um, we can automatically refund their uh, journey on the tube and I think that will be the, uh, a thing for Sydney to look forward to. The Premier already knows the task of fixing Sydney's trains is huge, but his government is making progress. Today he inspected the South West Rail Link, which should be finished in 2016, six months ahead of schedule. That's when people will have the benefit of the South West Rail Link, being able to leave their cars at home and start to reduce congestion on our roads. And we're live to Lee Jelasek now at Central Station. Lee, when should commuters start to see some changes? Well, Chris, the first change will be in a few months' time when City Rail becomes known as Sydney Trains. The biggest change after that will be the rollout of the electronic ticketing system, which the government hopes will be done by the end of next year. It's not until that's complete and these Opal cards are out there and being used widely that passengers can hope to start seeing some of those refunds that Mr Collins referred to for unforeseen delays. Chris? All right, thanks, Lee. And you can share your thoughts on the new Rail Boss's plans. Just go to our 7 News Sydney Facebook or Twitter. Twitter sites.